Back on the St. Lawrence Seaway, the crew of the Ocean Traverse Nord is preparing to dredge 5,000 cubic meters worth of sediment from the bottom. They are in a channel just two kilometers wide near the town of Bécancourt, Quebec. It's a busy thoroughfare for huge ships, and they need to make sure the water is deep enough for the vessels to pass through it. It's up to Mary Ev and her team to dredge it to specifications. If they fail, a ship could run aground, potentially triggering an environmental disaster. It's happened before. On July 12, 2010, the Richelieu, a freighter for Canadian steamship lines, was carrying thousands of tons of wheat when it ran aground in the seaway near Montreal. The impact punctured a hole in the hull the size of a basketball. 75 tons of fuel spilled into the river. The slick extended for three kilometers, affecting natural habitats and covering seabirds in toxic diesel fuel. The incident closed down the seaway for the first time in over 50 years, causing a huge lineup of ships and costing millions of dollars in losses. Want to put yeah, it out? Ready, yeah, if you okay. Are. It's precisely the kind of event the Ocean Traverse Nord's captain, Mike Harris, is working hard to prevent. We'll get this last piece and we'll go back, okay? Yeah. He's at the helm in the control center on the ship's bridge. Okay, you ready? This role is relatively new for him, but with 35 years experience on Coast Guard vessels in these very waters, there's not much he hasn't seen. You wanna lift up? Okay. The ship uh, is uh, it's fairly large for its horsepower, so you uh, have to be patient. Everything's, it goes slow. Working closely with the dredge operator, Captain Harris steers the ship to move the vacuum over the sandbars below the surface they are trying to remove. There we go, we got those two little dots, that's good. There's no guesswork involved. They work off a detailed map using cutting edge computerized mapping software. A targeted area is broken down into sections which must be dredged to a specific depth. In this case, 11.7 meters down. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and start on that light green. Yeah, it is a little okay. bit. Helping the captain from the deck is veteran first officer, J.P. Poitra. He monitors the dredger's progress by overseeing the hopper. The sector is broken into these little pieces. We were in E11 this morning, making sure that the full sector is completed. But the real action happens under the water, 11 meters below the surface. Connected to the long suction pipe is the ship's most important asset, the drag head. So this is the drag head, so the, the head that is actually in the bottom. It's a complex suction device that is more than just a sand vacuum. It's a sand blaster. The dredging arm is actually two pipes. So there's one pipe sucking in all the material, and there's also one that is pushing water with high pressure jets. We call it the jet pump. It's breaking the material into little pieces that can be sucked in again and bring in on board. The sand is drawn through the suction pipe and spewed into the hopper. The water drains out, leaving only the sand behind. When full, the hopper can hold up to 1,000 cubic meters of sediment. On a job like this, it could take several hours to fill. And once it reaches capacity, they will stop dredging and dump their load at a different location, designated by the Canadian government but they won't dump until the hopper is completely full because it cuts into dredging time. So they do it as few times as possible. With weather conditions in their favor and a break in shipping traffic, the dredging is going well. Yeah, we're almost done, almost full. So we're almost there. Should be a few minutes and we'll be full. But they hit an unexpected snag. The drag head has sucked up something big hidden in the sand, and it's jammed up the unit. The uh, operator has to do some uh, checkup because we think there's something stuck in the pump. They need to fix it right away, and the only way to do it is inspect the inside of the drag head. 
shutting down the entire operation.